Hello guys and welcome back to my channel. Today in this video, I'm going to perform another range test of the Cadex Vista digital transmission system. On my last test, I was accused by some of the commenters that I didn't push the system to its limit. And while I don't disagree with these remarks, you have to understand that even though the quadcopter was equipped with a GPS unit and the beta flight return to home feature was enabled, it doesn't 100% guarantee that the drone is not going to be lost. And besides being expensive, at the time of shooting the video, it was the only Cadex Vista system that I had. So in the test which I'm about to show you, I used a different approach, which is going to allow me to push video and radio receiving and transmission units to their limit without putting any of my drones at risk and without worrying about depleting their battery. So basically what I've done is to mount the same quadcopter using the same setup on my father's pirate parachute, with no propellers of course, I stayed on the ground and remotely enjoyed my father's and brother's flight. Now since it was the first time for me testing a system using this method, I had some issues. For example, on the first one, which was actually more interesting than the second one, I don't have GPS data because I didn't arm the quadcopter on time. So what I plan to do on my next test is to use a radio communication system, which currently I don't have, which will allow me to communicate with my father and give him directions while he's flying. Just like the previous test, I recorded the GPS data to an analog DVR and I used the stock antennas. However, due to some time constraints, I was only able to test the system when it was set to 1200 millivolts. As for the results, I think that it's pretty safe to say that in an open area, using the stock antennas, when the Vista is set to 1200 millivolts, you can get to about 3.5 kilometers. And the most important value that you should pay attention to is the bitrate, as when it gets to about 2 megabits per second, it indicates that the system is very likely to be disconnected, and it's a good indication that you should head back. This is, by the way, in my opinion, probably the biggest disadvantage of the digital system when comparing to analog. Because on analog, if you're having signal issues, you can still fly through the snowflakes, whereas on digital, the video is going to be disconnected, it's going to take between 5 to 15 seconds to restore the digital link, and in addition, not all the video is going to be saved to your goggles, which is going to make it even harder to find a lost drone. Now after this introduction, I'm going to show you the test, and of course, if you have any comments or suggestions, feel free to leave them in the comments section down below. Don't forget to leave a thumbs up if you like this video, and consider subscribing to my channel and hitting the notifications bell if you're not already subscribed. See you on my next videos, and goodbye.